hey everyone, welcome back to another video on Sonic Frontiers. So, I was practicing my speed runs, and I realized something. So, what happens if you go back to Kronos after just skipping straight to Giganto? Because, like... Apparently, actually beating Giganto unlocks that part of the map. I didn't actually know that. But, um, yeah, so, like, I just wanted to see what happens, because it registers that you have all the emeralds collected. So, I just want to see what happens. Like, when I do one of Amy's mini games to get an, an emerald, what's going to happen there? All right, there we go. Oh, I still get the emerald. I'm not really surprised. It's a scripted cutscene. Oh, wait, the rock's here. Hold on, hold on. I think I know a, a way to... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know a way to uh, make it up to that objective. I, I gotta be careful. I can't go too far because then I'll go over the barrier. Which is not my intention. Because that'll bring me to the Rhea section of Kronos. Alright, wait. The trigger is like right here. Oh my god! I re-triggered it! Also, t does anyone else realize how this just transferred into stretch res? Like, I can't be the only one that's seeing this. Yep, there's Giganto, but will he be here when I actually hit the trigger? I have my doubts. I don't think this will work. I'm pretty sure... <sighs> He's just not gonna be there. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it was worth a try. Uh, that's pretty much what I expected to happen. So, uh, that's pretty much going to do it for this testing session. I'm pretty sure the exact same thing is going to happen to Wyvern, so I'm not even going to attempt that one. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, bye bye